Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. I am going to say that this has now happened twice. It's kind of starting to bug me, but I did in fact film a What's in My P.O. Box last video I tried to film and again the audio is out. So as you can hopefully see by the title, this video is going to be a two-in-one and it's going to be a subby mail. It's all in this box here. It's in this fashion file box. It's not from fashion file though. Uh, it's going to be subby mail because I did a whole what's in my PO box with it. Yeah, <gasps> Surprised. Oh my god, I love it. And it was like... So, no sound. And then on the end, I'm going to throw in a what's in my bag with my JST, my Chanel Grand Shopping Tote. This bag is fabulous. All right, so let's get into this. I will start with cards. So, as I said, I have unboxed this, so I do know. First card came from the one and only Louis Vuitton. This subby mail and what's in my PO box was from December, January beginning of this month. Dear Jerusha and Gillian, sending my warmest wishes for a wonderful Christmas and fabulous new year. Warmest regards, Chloe. Remember I told you guys about Chloe, French Parisian Chloe at the Maison store for Louis Vuitton here in Sydney. That was so gorgeous when I read that. I was just like, ha. Oh, that's so nice. Chloe, thank you so much for your Christmas card. This Christmas card, so you can see it's December, which is so beautiful. I'm sure you can see it's like it's got a velvet burnout. So zhuzh. This says, Dear Jerusha, wishing you much success in the coming year. I am grateful to know you. May the holiday season bring you much joy. Love, BJ Taylor 02. BJ, you are my OG, you are my heart, you are the sweetest, sweetest friend. I am honoured to know you, babe, as well. Honestly, we have been like this from the beginning. That is about six years. Then I got two cards. One was for me, here it is, and then one was for Jill's. Jill's is my mum. Her name is Jillian. I sometimes call her Jillian. People think it's odd. And then we, my brother and I nickname her cheeky, cheekily Jills. Now everyone calls her Jills. So that is for mum. And I haven't given it to her because I wanted to show you on this video. But there is mine. So it's a beautiful festive card with lots of glitters on it. It says, hey babe, I love you so much. I love you too. I love your videos. Keep making them. Ignore the haters. Yes, honey. I get so excited when I see you have a new video. Um, up. Uh, you are looking fantastic. Thanks girl. Happy New Year. All the best for 2016. Love your subby from Canada, Mary Ann. Mwah! Thank you so much, Mary Ann. And happy 2016 to you too. I love that. I love getting like, yeah, encouragement. So they were just the cards and then some boxes started coming in. Look at this gorgeous card. So Versace-esque with the gold foiling. Don't we just love that? It, it was a card with an absolutely massive letter inside of it, if you can see that. Uh, but basically, I obviously read the letter, but basically it's from a lovely lady named Trisna. Hi, Trisna. And she is just gorgeous. My name is Trisna. I have always been on your YouTube channel as one of your fans. I started back in the unboxing in 2012. And then I decided to buy my first Louis Vuitton. Very nice. Congratulations. Down the bottom here she's got, I'm a proud owner of a Speedy B Mono 25. Yes, honey. I'm so proud of you. You know I am totally behind the Speedy B 25. It is amazing. Um, she is so incredibly sweet. She has sent me some gifts. So I will leave her details below. Uh, but she sent me a couple of the goodies. Thank you so much, Trisna. They came, they come in little dust bags, which is so sweet. Here is the card. So I will leave the details below for the online store. But so darling, 
Oh my gosh, so it's a matching little coin purse. This is so sweet. With a little tassel and there and then a bigger one which is great for like a makeup case and it's nice because it's flat as well but flat and they're really nice I guess as a clutch as well just to put your phone in so cute thank you so much Trisna thank you the reaction to this on my unboxing of what's in my pair box was so cool but I will read you his letter hello Jerusha how are you babe I'm good hopefully everything is well um, for starters, to introduce my name, myself, my name is Rizal. Um, I'm from Kuala Lumpur. I love Kuala Lumpur. Malaysia is so beautiful. He is also a bagaholic. He says he's crazy about bags. Um, you are one of my favorite YouTubers. I love to watch your videos religiously. Thank you so much, Rizal. And this is so crazy what he's done. I would like to give you a little something something. Hope you are going to like it. Take care. Peace. Yes, honey. You take care. Look what Rizal got me. <laughs> this is so cool. And when I when I took this out of his uh, postage pack, I was like, what? Why? My initials on like a luggage, like on a metal kind of bag tag. That is so cool. And then... Get out, right? Shut the front door. Who doesn't want a picture of themselves on their handbag? So I'm assuming this is you there, Rizal. Very gorgeous. Love the glasses. Love you. So chic. So he had it on his bag. This is so cool. I will put his Instagram below. Maybe if you're interested in one of these for your bag or maybe giving it as a gift for someone else his Instagram below so you can ask him where to get them but it's a, it's a luggage tag so it could go on anything it doesn't have to go on your handbag so cute right thank you so much you guys are so incredibly sweet it's so generous and as I have said before sitting here in front of a camera sometimes you forget not forget but you're I'm alone in this room so when you guys send me stuff it just it reiterates that you're like yes you're out there we're friends it's like we're cyber pen pals. Last box which is so my zhuzh it is so festive look at it it is this look at it bang it is so amazing I'm going to display this box it is completely covered in like gold glitters it came with this festive card <laughs> it's a Santa suit so beautiful and this again came with a really long letter which I read just gorgeous from her from my, one of my subbies named Melissa hi Melissa from the UK she is so darling this was so nice hi Jerusha wishing you a wonderful Christmas <laughs> that's how long ago it was and a truly amazing 2016 thank you so much Melissa lots of love Melissa she is just unbelievably sweet honestly she writes to me she's told me some things and just ugh, like I love when you guys share with me because I'm always sharing with you and it's just so lovely so lovely she's written here as for the gifts I couldn't help myself um, and if there's um, anything uh, from the UK, if there's anything fancy you'd like from the UK, please let me know. So sweet. There is so many cool things in the UK in the way of, I love boots, okay, I just want to say that. And when I was there, I was, I was like, boots is a great drugstore. I'm going to show you what cheeky Melissa. <laughs> I opened this, I was going crazy on the first video. Look at this, full of makeup, absolutely full. So, I know that Revolution Makeup is made in the UK. It is a UK brand and I used, I did stalk it a lot actually on their site. And she just got me palette after palette of this Revolution. So this is the iconic number one palette of theirs. I'll link their website below amazing and this is the 12 shimmer oh the 12 shimmer palette 
the Run Boy Run palette. There it is. You can see some of the colors on the back. Just so me, Melissa. Thank you so much. She knows I'm pretty much obviously a neutrals girl, but because I'm getting a little bit better at my makeup, <laughs> I like testing stuff and I really wanted to try this Revolution brand. So thank you so, so much. She threw in some Urban Decay 24-7 um, eyeliner pencils in the three pack there. Just amazing. Thank you. Oh my gosh. And then she threw in a Lancome uh, sample pack for effortless chic sample pack so there we go so that is it for my subby mail again thank you so much to all my subbies that sent me cards and gifts it is completely unexpected and i just like so generous you guys are truly the best subbies you support me through everything and i just i love you all every single card i keep it i put it in my subby box I have some that I frame. You guys are just fantastic. And as YouTubers that I said sit on this side, it is so great when you connect with us. I'm going to quickly finish this may be long with a what's in my bag of my Chanel Grand Shopper Tote in caviar leather with gold hardware. I don't think there is anything more classic then a uh, caviar black caviar leather with gold hardware or, or lambskin leather with gold hardware for Chanel so this is my GST it is pretty full this is probably truthfully what I would carry uh, this isn't added it's only been two days so this is all the stuff that I say I need on a daily basis this is my juicy couture clip I have probably shown it in a few other videos I got it from New York it is my good luck charm so when I have it in a bag I, I tend to keep it in a bag in the middle zipper compartment which is so convenient it is really big it's like slightly padded so it's really nice in it I always keep my wallet that I'm using at the time it's usually a full-size wallet I sometimes have my zippy coin purse or my Chanel compact wallet in there but at the moment as you can see it is my Emily wallet by Louis Vuitton it is the rouge with the red lining this is such a great wallet the front for easy access cards similar to a Sarah so that's what's in that compartment in the back zipper compartment which has the Chanel made in uh, label on it in this I like the middle compartment I know I keep my keys to my house uh, these my house office post box and I think my in-laws house and my parents post box these are all my keys here behind it I keep the swipe uh, for my parents uh, condo and this is the Louis Vuitton multi clay in uh, monogram with the fuchsia interior I would like to however do a review on this if you guys want to see that maybe thumbs this video up because even though I like it and I and I like this piece now especially after I sold my last piece the quality I need to talk about Vuitton's quality okay it's a serious situation so thumbs this up if you want to see a review on this little guy because yeah got a got a few things to say in the back compartment which you can see there so here the big compartment I keep my agenda <laughs> so this is my six ring PM agenda from Louis Vuitton in Damier Azure I've got this thin um, Shangri-La pen there I still have my little Kiki K pen in here but it's I think it's running out of ink or something I put in my new agenda refill uh, that I showed in my last video with mum I am enjoying it I love it when it's first new because the pages are so crispy and then you know after a while it just gets very disheveled still in that back compartment we have my mini pochette in Damier Ibin this is my go-to little needs pouch it has been almost in every what's in my bag and as you can see it's got Panadol down in here it's got earbuds it has a hand sanitizer here from palm olive that smells really nice it's got a couple of lip products which is my nyx butter gloss and 
my Chanel uh, um, Hydra Beauty lip balm. Oh my gosh, on the plane to Singapore, this thing, I swear it went down by like half. Like I think I don't really have any left because I just, on the plane, my lips got so dry and I was just like on and on and on. This thing is so handy. And then still in that back compartment, I have my ever fantastic, courtesy of Chloe, Port Monero uh, round coin purse from Louis Vuitton. On it, I have attached my Dragon so wristlet strap in the Vachette leather. And this thing, I know, I've got to review this as well. I said I would. I just, I can't rave enough about it. It was one of those purchases I was a bit, eh, I don't know if I want to spend that money on just holding my coins. But because I've just kind of, I don't want to say it, but I've gone off clays. Look. It's kind of true. I sort of have gone off clays. They're just annoying me at the moment. And the keychain, it just got so chipped. And I ruined sort of a few of them. So anyway, loving this item. And my Dragon makes it handy to sort of run, you know, run into the shops or whatnot. Still in the back because I'm still keeping it separate. But I'm utilizing the key strap on this GST. So the Chanel GSTs come with a key strap built into it that it's handy on this thing because I just put my hand in and click and unclick anyway. Flap, it doesn't have a zipper, it's just a flat um, pocket and in this it's kind of like my makeup, not my makeup, but thing, little things I need. One of, one of my mum's, one of my mum's um, seminars that she did in her little goodie bag, she always gives a goodie bag and it, there was like, she had in there a couple of uh, perfumes and she also had this brush. And it's one of those push out brushes and it's got a mirror on the top of it. But honestly with my short hair, it makes my hair so full and zhuzh. So I keep it on me because it's just so handy. So cute. My lip gloss which I have on right now, mm -hmm, it is my Revlon HD. Uh, Ultra HD Lip Lacquer in 570 HD Smoky Topaz and it goes really nicely with my uh, Essence in the Nude Lip Liner which is what I have on. I have my little L&M pouch because I was showing my other sister-in-law who lives near me. I was showing her as a very gorgeous gift idea for her friend that's just had babies. I was showing her the L&M gold bar necklace that you can personalize with a stone. Mine is just the diamante, so just silver. See the diamante that's there? She personalizes them with birthstones. So say, if I did pull my birthstone, it would be rose quartz, pink, rose, October, yeah. So anyway, just gorgeous. I chose the silver, so it was quite neutral. Back slip pocket is now empty. And then it's just this compartment, which is kind of like my glasses compartment. Because now Jerusha has a lot going on with her eyes. This is my Louis Vuitton sunglass case, MM in the monogram canvas. I love this. My uh, Celine Large Shadow Sunnies, bam, are in here. However, I feel like they're too big for this a lot of the time, so I'm probably going to trade them out now to, I think, to my sports girl sunnies, which are kind of like, they're kind of a dupe for the Saint Laurent sunnies. They're really square. A lot of people always ask me what they are, but that is what is in that sunglass case. Last two items in my bag. It's not two items. It's, it's, my, it's my reading glasses case from Chanel. It is just how we're rolling for some reason. And it's my reading glasses dust bag from Chanel, which it comes with the dust bag, the little linen dust bag, and the case. And my and my reading glasses are in the dust bag. So they're my glasses. I love them. I put them on my mum the other day, and I was like, these are so nice on you. They make you 10 years younger straight away. I think we'll leave them on for my outro. They make me look kind of smart. Don't we agree? That is my Chanel Grand Shopping Toe GST Caviar Leather Gold Hardware Empty. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. My phone was in here. My phone is usually in the back pocket. 
I keep it in the back pocket. I don't feel as though it, if it has a case on it, it stretches the back pocket out in a GST. I also keep it in the back pocket of my Jumbo. Uh, if it doesn't have a case, it's so skinny. And for some reason, it hasn't had a case for a long time until now. It is the iPhone 6, just iPhone 6. I have my exact same screensaver on it that I've had for the last two and a half, nearly three years. She's carrying her vintage Kelly from Hermes and I swear it's like my favorite blogger picture ever. This is the case I have it on it now. We showed you in our Singapore haul the items from Charles and Keith. This case is from Charles and Keith. I loved it because of the gold juice. I'm really into dripping gold stuff at the moment, like my Burberry bag. I have that on display because I think it's just so gorgeous. And when I picked it up, I was like, how does this work? Like, why does it come off at the top? I was like, why would you do that? She's like, get a card. So this is just a hotel access card to the Langham in Hong Kong. So you put it in there and you shut it back up. So genius. Oh my gosh. Bonza. I was like, that is so great. You can have, you know, your most used debit card or credit card in the back of your phone uh, and run off to the shop. So that is it. Thank you again to all my subbies that sent me subby mail and gifts. I truthfully am so blessed. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys. And that's my what's in my bag. If you like this video guys, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, that'd be really great guys. I will see you in my next video, which I'm thinking will be a comparison video between this item from Louis Vuitton and this Chanel item. My small compact wallet and my emprunt clay in noir. I'm going to finally do a comparison of the two of them because this gorgeous item will be in my blog sale. I have decided to put it in there. Here is a Polaroid you can see. I've decided to put it in there simply because I do really think the zippy coin purse in the emprunt will just suit my life a lot better. I'll get more use out of it and as I said before I'm steering away a little bit from clays. So I need to compare these two before my blog sale happens. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video guys. I will see you in my next video. Take care. Peace.